Hey Scorpio, it's your girl, the Empress Chanel here, coming at you with a Strawberry Moon reading, all right? So we're just going to go ahead and get it popping. All my book and information and everything that you can find on me is down in the description box, and that's what we going to say about that, all right? So this is for Scorpio, Strawberry Moon reading, Scorpio, Strawberry Moon, the energy of the Strawberry Moon. What is it doing with Scorpio? Prosperity lies ahead, New Moon in Taurus. It's too many. Um, have faith in your dreams. Waxing crescent moon. Okay, so you guys are moving towards your your dreams, okay? And um, you're moving towards prosperity here, okay? Right now is a time for healing. So right now um, is a time for you. It's like a calm period for you, okay? A lot of you may feel like you're stuck or, you know, uh, in limbo kind of sitting don't know what you're really got going on you're like you know i've done something i feel like i should be doing something more or did i miss something here no you're not stuck okay you're just in a very very calm period right now okay scorpio it's a time for healing you need to be sitting down calm at the beach in the country somewhere on the countryside just chilling being calm all right have faith in your dreams whatever it is that you are putting out there have faith that it's going to come back okay prosperity lies ahead all right <clears throat> All right, we have the Prince of Cups here. Every time I see the Prince of Cups on this deck, I think of like someone being tethered um, to someone else, someone making someone uh, an offer that they almost can't refuse, okay? Um, the Prince of Cups also talks about um, growing intuition. So if prosperity is, you know, what you want to be prosperous in is growing your intuition or coming towards someone with love or expressing how you feel about someone, um, you know, just wait. It's coming up. Have faith in that. All right. We got the Princess of Swords here. I'm seeing um, that a lot of you and, and the Hierophant right next to that. So I'm seeing that a lot of you um, need spiritual healing. Um, a lot of you still have a lot of learning that you need to do when it comes to spirituality. Um, Page of Swords is about learning and the Hierophant is about learning to um, higher levels of commitment, committing to um, learning um, spirituality, learning about yourself and things like that. All right. So we have for you, Scorpio, we have Prince of Cups, which is Pisces energy and being clarified by the Queen of This, which is Capricorn energy. All right, Scorpio. So Prince of Cups, someone um, could have been coming to offer this Queen of This money. Or some Queen of This could have come to offer you money. Um, they say, you know, it was token of love, love token. Could have been an offer of help when it came to money for you guys, Scorpio. Um, or you may have offered someone money to help them out, okay? Um, three of Wands here, clarifying the Hierophant. And then we have the Seven of Discs, clarifying the Prince of Swords. It's Taurus Energy. Princess, I'm sorry, Princess of Swords. Princess of Swords is Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. The Hierophant is Taurus Energy. Three of Wands is Aries Energy. We have the Moon, that's Pisces Energy. Wheel of Fortune. So some sort of karma is happening under this full moon for you guys, all right? Mm. they told me to leave that like that this prince of this or the knight of pentacles came out in reverse so um someone's material or uh, manifestation or money uh coming to a straight up halt here okay um <clears throat> Or it's almost like someone wants to have control over when your money comes in and when it stops and uh you know when it when it does come in or when they do give you some it's almost like bread crumbing almost it's almost like they give you a little bit at a time they give you enough to keep you sustained but um not enough to keep you moving okay um it's nine of swords here which is gemini energy what we just came out of this season being clarified by the princess of this okay so this is news about money or wealth all right and someone is very stressed out about that 
All right, they're stressed out maybe about attaining their um, fruition when it comes to money or, you know, they're waiting on some sort of news when it comes to some sort of money that's supposed to be coming in. But um, whatever this is that has to do with money with you guys, Scorpio, is kind of really stressing you guys out. All right. Princess of Swords being clarified by the seven of this. I'm feeling like I don't think you guys understood the level of commitment and how much work needed to be put into this. It's almost like having a baby. OK, you guys. Um, you know become fertile with ideas and then you have to nurture those ideas and you have to you know plant those seeds in the ground and you have to wait before you're able to harvest those seeds but in the meantime clean up your garden okay make sure your space is there nurture your body all right make sure everything is beautiful and everything is right all right um, sevens in tarot numerology are about reflection assessment and and having control over oneself okay having control over one's words one's actions um, not gossiping just um, being studious in sort of a sense all right because the seven of this is not movement forward. Seven of this is sitting there, you know, assessing what you have planted and, and watching it finally, you know, just sprout from the ground, that type of deal. All right. Three of wands here being clarified by the Hierophant. So I'm feeling like a lot of you guys may have tried to go within, okay, as, as your time of healing. You want to heal yourself spiritually. Spirituality um, is important to you, a lot of you. And um, it's almost like you're just like, yeah, I did it. Um, I'm waiting for the messengers to tell me, like, um, where's the growth? <laughs> like, you're just sitting back waiting on the growth. Like, where's the growth? OK, like I have the keys to the streets now. I'm good. Where's the growth? No, you don't. Right now is the time for healing. OK, now you're going to sit back and you're really going to see if, um, you know, Oh, karmic justice is going on out here because we have judgment at the bottom of the deck and we have wheel of fortune clarifying the moon. All right. So you're not going down this path of secrets and lies with someone anymore. I'm feeling I'm picking up that um, a lot of you Scorpio are no matter you know you may have even been getting paid by somebody to be sneaky, um, do secrets, have lies to um, or someone was being paid to do that with you, okay? Or, you know, given some sort of incentive to have that with you. I see three of swords here peeking at the bottom, at the top of the deck here, where the challenge position is, all right? So this could have been you. I mean, you might be catching some sort of judgment right now with this uh, Knight of Pentacles in reverse, all right? See, mm. You know, maybe your manifestation started to slow up or, you know, maybe their manifestation started to slow up. Whoever did this is catching some sort of karmic justice right now. And it's really starting to weigh on them really heavy. They're um, having nightmares up at night, very anxiety ridden. Um, this person definitely regrets, um, you know, um, trying to tether themselves to you or trying to use you, if you will, um, for certain things. It's almost like you inadvertently was put into a third party, but not even really inadvertently. OK, that's why we have this uh, wheel of fortune right here. It's like you knew secrets revealed here with the moon. You knew what you was getting yourself into. That path was illuminated to you. You knew what path this person wanted you to go down or that that person knew what path you wanted them to go down. And they didn't. They decided to continue to be a karmic and spin on the same wheel. And you're like, no, I'm getting off that wheel. Or they're like, no, I'm getting off that wheel. You can stay on that karmic wheel. <laughs> That's what I hear somebody saying. You can stay on that karmic wheel. I'm going to sit over here and I'm going to heal. And, um, you know, I'm going to learn from my mistakes. I'm going to have faith in my dreams that they will come true. You know, that um, I'll finally sort things out. I see a lot of people thinking on some of these cards. But not many of these cards are actually forward movement here okay we have the prince of this here bit clarifying the ten of cups so it's almost like someone was happy that they were able to stop your money or you were happy to be able to stop someone's money fit this as you will okay take what resonates leave what doesn't but someone was happy that they were able to stop someone's money or stop someone's manifestation or stop someone's fruition and um you know it may have come back to bite them in the ass so to speak so <laughs> Now, Judgment Day is here. What's up under Judgment? Mm, yep. What'd I say? Three party. Coming into a group. 
Someone walked away from this group to expand themselves. Threes in tarot numerology over here, they also mean expansion, expression, groups, growth. This is Jupiter right here, group, growth, all right? Jupiter just went retrograde, by the way, a few days back, all right? We got the Four of Cups here. So someone um, feeling rejected, feeling like their manifestations aren't coming in. But whatever it is, this card is saying that you need to watch whatever it is that you're doing. You see that big old eyeball in the back in the corner in the tear, in the veil? That is spirit watching every move that you're making. Are you snuffing out someone's rose and thinking that the divine don't see you? Or is that happening to you? And they think that the divine doesn't see them. Okay, fit it how you will in your story. All right, but whoever is doing whatever, their money is finna be messed up. It's about to be cut off here with the King of Swords. Their money is about to be straight up cut off. They're about to learn some sort of karmic lesson. Ooh, ooh. we got the star. So after some sort of tower moment um, is healing, okay, is the star. This is the path that was supposed to go down, the healing path, the path of learning what these burdens are, ending burdenous cycles, not continuing to go on burdenous cycles with people, ending burdenous cycles. Tens are ends. This is ten of wands. This is the end of some sort of cycle that was supposed to be too much work, all right? Healing, a time for healing. That is the oracle card that came out here. It is a time for healing after some sort of burdenous cycle is now ending, okay? what I say? After a tower moment, all right? You guys feeling a little bit stuck here. And in defense mode, it's almost like um, you've exhausted all resources trying to defend yourself, all right? Um, you may feel like um, maybe you cut someone off or someone cut you off, but whatever this is, you had to make a sound decision. Someone had to make a sound decision, a head over heart decision. You know, maybe this person started acting day and night, or maybe after this, some sort of decision, blind decision was made. It's like, uh, you know, someone flipped the script and then situation ended up not being what you thought it was gonna be. And you ended up having to move away or leave or go away from this situation. But it's okay because we all have to learn our lessons, all right? If this is you to hop back on this karmic wheel, it's okay, we all have to learn our lessons, all right? Five of Wands, clarified by the Two of Wands. It's almost like you took fast movement forward, jump head first into something. That's Cancer energy right there. And um, made a decision to go out and do that. And it ended up being something that was unstable, an unstable decision or um, something that caused some sort of conflict maybe made you make this decision to take action forward. Um, but whatever it is, it caused some sort of change in your life, all right? And... Um, you decided that your change, look, tr death, transformation, change. So something in your life changed, um, totally transformed, okay? This could be you who totally transformed. You may have transformed your look. Maybe you changed your location. Maybe you changed how you acted. Maybe you even changed how you viewed things. But some part of you has left or had to leave or had to die out in order for this karmic um, wheel to end, okay? In order for your true path to be illuminated to you, in order for things to get put into balance and for you to finally obtain this level of completion, okay? Fruition, the end of a burdenous cycle where you can just finally be stable, all right? Be with family, be free, that type of deal, okay? You too, like I said, in cancer reading may have been getting breadcrumbed by someone who um, knows how to manipulate emotions, okay? Some sort of feminine queen of um, cups energy who knows how to manipulate energies. Maybe you guys were being a little breadcrumbed by that. It, it Could have got sucked in or suckered in by it. Look at that. This is a cup of emotion. This person may have poured out some emotion to you, cried to you, um, just to, uh, uh, for you to be on their defense, for you to be on their side, that type of deal. All right. But this ended up being a lot of pain um, and you just want to end the cycle um, or this person wanted to end a painful cycle with you. Um, fit it how you will. I don't know if a cross watcher might be watching this. So, yeah. 
There you go. All right. Someone wants to take action towards some money. Someone wants to have control. Okay. Here with the King of Discs and then the Princess of Wands and the Strength card and then the Queen of Wands. So someone definitely wanted to have some sort of level of control over um, someone's happiness, someone's fruition, um, how, how they went about things, who they prayed to, how they prayed. Um, and that type of deal okay but uh if you have some sort of dream for doing something or coming out from out of this control or getting out of your head when it comes to something or you know bringing in your fulfillment getting this prince of this to go back upright so that way you can be stable and you can get to your 100 percent full happiness here um you guys need to you need a plan you need a practical plan something that's going to work something that makes sense okay We had the Queen and King of Pentacles out here. So I'm feeling like someone wanted to have control over someone's money or someone wanted to control someone with money. This may have been someone trying to control you, Scorpio, with money, um, you know, or vice versa, because everybody ain't 100% peaches and roses, okay? All right. So we have sound healing, clean your space. And it looked like that's what the Seven of Pentacles is doing. It like she cleaning up. And finally plant her seeds down. It's like, I don't even want no more parts in this anymore, all right? I got to have faith that um, I can do things on my own. You know, if you have dreams of being independent, free, not under the control of this person or not under someone who is trying to control you. You want to heal from um, cycles like this with people that you, it seems to be friends, family, um, you know, lovers, counterparts, that type of deal. It's almost like you get on the same cycle with these people all the time. Um do some sound healing um some sound bowl healing if you don't have a sound bowl go on youtube you on youtube right now 1636 on time when i say that okay find a sound bowl video lay down listen to it under this full moon do a burning bowl ritual okay be grateful for what you have write down a whole list of everything that you do have and that you can be grateful for write a gratitude list i have a nice large one i add something to it just about every day okay do a burning bowl ritual under this moon you have about three days so till about sunday <laughs> you know for the full effects of this full moon but you could do a burning bowl ritual at any point in time that you feel like you need to release something or get something off of you okay and that's what full moons are for full moons are for releasing all right, Scorpio. So if no one has told you today, I'm going to tell you. I love you. Peace.